Everton come with three straight wins behind them, confident of taking on Liverpool and their army of fans. A classic encounter in prospect then, Liverpool against Everton is our featured game. Well, Peter Beardsley and John Barnes might have captured the midweek headlines in the FA Cup, but you ignore Ian Rush at your peril once Everton come into his sights. To remind you, the Rush record, 23 goals against the club he used to support. 14 of them passed his, at all other times, good friend, Neville Southall, whose anger this week at newspaper speculation about a transfer to Barcelona at least spared him the usual pre-derby questions as to whether he'll stop Rush today. Liverpool make one change from Wednesday's win over Norwich City at left-back, where David Burrows stands in for the injured Steve Staunton. In midfield, you'll find the only locally-born player in the side, Steve McMahon, who started, of course, with Everton. Beardsley operating with Rush, a scorer of great goals alongside a great goal scorer. The cornerstone of Everton's defending a system of three centre-backs, Dave Watson, Kevin Ratcliffe and Martin Keown. Since Norman Whiteside's return on New Year's Day, Everton haven't lost and their goal's certainly coming from midfield at the moment. Pat Nevin is also likely to operate in that area. With Mike Newell dropped to substitute, Graham Sharp is the only recognised striker. As red meets blue, maybe a greenhouse effect with the weather. Pleasant sunshine here while the south is suffering in rain and snow. Liverpool defend the cop end. She's saying. from Whelan to McMahon and here's Rush oh and Southall has denied him this time it was a splendid save too well Neville Southall has got something of a new routine now he comes out on the pitch two hours before the kickoff to get himself sharp physically and mentally he said it's working for him and this was a testimony to that to deny the old enemy Showing well again, Graham Sharp. Nevin. Snowden. Everton certainly have brought the right sort of form into this derby. Unbeaten in 1990. But they would feel the same at the start of the season when they took on Liverpool as leaders of the first division. But it's Liverpool who lead at this latter stage in the championship race Barnes Burrows a line of Liverpool players on the edge of the area McMahon Benison return to him well by Nicholl Oh, Watson can't get there, Barnes does, Liverpool have scored. And Liverpool show that no matter how many defenders you set out to try and stop them, they can find a route through. And after the build-up on the right with Nicol and Benison, Barnes reached the ball, played behind the defenders, and although Everton hoped for an offside flag, it wasn't forthcoming because Barnes had timed that run brilliantly. 1-0 Liverpool, 11 minutes gone. His 17th of the season, a most profitable one for him personally. Everton undone by play of an extremely high quality. Madison carrying the attack forward again. For the most part, Everton using their numerical supremacy 
to snuff out the danger. But what it's doing is leaving them short of an avenue to get forward as they look to pull it back to 1-1. McMahon revels in the special atmosphere of these games, which he's seen from both sides. Nevitt, after Liverpool had given it away. Oh, and Hansen had to uh, check back and was angry with Barnes just for an instant. Burrows. Barnes. In the way, Keo. Everton are playing. There's a lot of chance for the fullbacks to get involved for Liverpool in an attacking sense, as Venison has shown in creating the one goal so far. Nice triangles there, but to no purpose. Liverpool, for once, guilty of admiring their own handiwork, or should I say, footwork. Oh, Whelan could have turned then, but didn't have the ball under sufficient control. Again, David Allison saw an infringement by Whiteside after the ball had gone. And Whiteside is a fast master at going just far enough but not too far when it comes to the referee <laughs> and he's in support of Sharp and that's inviting McDonald <laughs> Benison felt it was his throw but it's gone the other way Whiteside had a look to see what was on. That was the other side of Norman Whiteside, the sharp football brain. The better side. But here's Barnes. Ratcliffe judged that beautifully. Keown tried to measure the pass to give Nevin some service. But a moment or two ago, Norman Whiteside flicked the ball on, having taken time to twist his head round to see where the ball might go on to profitably. Barnes, shown the inside route by Snowden. Beardsley, and ball, is that by Watson? Well, certainly uh, the ball came up and hit his hand, and the penalty is given. Everton are a little annoyed because the referee didn't give it straight away. But there was very little doubt about it. There, handball by Dave Watson. And look, the referee said play on, first of all, but the linesman had other ideas. And Liverpool here can tighten their grip. Now, Beardsley scored a penalty against Norwich by blasting the ball to the goalkeeper's left. Oh, well, it goes straight down the middle as Southall went out of the way. 2-0. Was a penalty of some pressure at this stage of a Merseyside derby. Beardsley missed one, I remember, against Everton in his Newcastle days, but he didn't miss here for Liverpool. It's 2 0. Everton collectively shake their heads. have had some misadventures from penalties this season but Beardsley hasn't let them down and he was up to the task again here we're going to win the league is being bellowed from the cop so 14 for 
Beardsley, three penalties, three out of three. Wide side. And Grubbelar can't prevent the corner. Everton trying to cash in on potentially premature Liverpool celebrations. Ratcliffe's made the last run in. That's Keown who helped it on. Here is Ratcliffe. Oh, and Hussein saw a route away from his own goal at the cost of another corner. But they're pretty relaxed about it. Two goals to the good. strength Grobala comes packs it out of the area Rush helps it on driven on here by McMahon no foul by McCall Liverpool were pushing out and they have the ball but only after the whistle has gone Sheedy takes the free kick. The header away came from Ronnie Whelan. And Beersley, in his own penalty area, was thinking only about going forward. Look at this for a run. John Barnes is free on this side, and uh, Beersley, when he needed one of his magical passes, connected more with the ground than the ball. But still concentrating enough to go across and challenge McDonald. Dave Watson, I'm sure, still wondering about what happened here and why he did this, and whether he meant to do it. The ball against his hand. Just run outside McDonald. It hit Nickel and sped away. That could have wrong-footed Grubbelar. Probably did. Sheedy's corner. Oh, free header for Watson. Oh, Nevins hit the bar. Graham Sharp has headed it in, and Everton are back in it. Oh, and Liverpool will be furious with themselves. Because they let Watson have an unmarked header. Nevin should have scored, but Sharp did. And this coming right on half-time. a change to the picture Liverpool were cruising and I'm afraid it showed Barnes Venison well, Graham Sharp has come out of the shadows only his third goal of a particularly difficult season for him. A lot of responsibility placed on him today too. Had they gone in 2-0 down, it would have been a very demoralised Everton dressing room. But now they'll be bubbling. They'll see an escape route. So Sharp has his say. After Everton were angry at the penalty conceded by Watson, scored by Beardsley, and Liverpool had produced a spellbinding first goal, made on the right-hand side with a beautiful interchange of passes and rounded off by John Barnes to set the tone for a very eventful first half. At half-time at Anfield, it's Liverpool 2, Everton 1. Liverpool still with red faces as well as red shirts certainly given Everton a lifeline after dominating the first half here's Venison the cop gave Neville Southall a terrific welcome when he came out for the second half 
kickoff, of course, where Evertonian and Liverpudlian stand side by side. They won't be standing there for that much longer. Club committed to all see the stadium here. They've got a good view of David Burrows now. And of Steve McMahon's shot, which ends in amongst them. Flying off Whiteside. see from here exactly whether it was on target well it was Whiteside was aware of that Barnes is standing unmarked by the penalty spot but Liverpool has so often worked the corner short but Everton have kept players back on both posts they come off now it's an interesting way of defending so often teams push right out at short corners Snowden and Sheedy, who were covering Southall on the line, stayed there until they realised that the ball wasn't going to come in at all. McCall. Snowden looks for Sharp coming in. McDonald is there, Sharp. And Venison just gets it out of play. And the Everton fans who were kept quiet, really, as they saw their team tumble for much of the first half. And there's so much to talk about, but they've got to keep their eye on the game as well. Donald favouring the right foot from left back. Right side. In by McDonald again, it's dropped over Nicholl for Sheedy. Oh, and Sharp was homing in on Hansen at full stretch. And Everton really on the move. Tested by Sheedy. Will Liverpool be undermined at another corner kick routine as they were right at the end of the first half? Donald's trying to get the better of McMahon. Prevented the goal kick, but Liverpool had the throw. Amongst the worldwide broadcasters, a former Liverpool forward, Michael Robinson, speaking in Spanish to a Spanish television network. Watching this match as absorbed as all of us. It's a crucial stage. McCall. Oh, and right side with Hussein blocking in the nick of time for Liverpool, who was straining again. Oh, Grubelau made an athletic touch. And an ambitious throw. Match by Beardsley's flick. Great tackle by Snowden. Play on. Good refereeing to go with the excellent football. Barnes. On he goes until... Donald provided a hurdle that even Barnes couldn't clear. Everton were panicking a little themselves there after there had been evidence of the same really around the Liverpool goal. Concern for Kenny Dalglish. Understandable. Concern of a different kind, a disciplinary kind, for Neil McDonald. It goes for McMahon, Venison, oh, and Nicol heads to try and loop it into that area where it might have even dropped in untouched, but where the likes of Rush would be homing in with the predatory instincts. At times, the first half was almost intellectual in the position of Liverpool's play. But now it's a storming game with both sides very much involved. Paul Harris. 
embarrassing Burrows, making sure there was no simple way out, there was no way out at all. Nevin crosses, Sharp is in! Well, Graham Sharp, shortly to complete 10 years with Everton. And what a way to meet that landmark if he could have got an equaliser to add to his first half goal. Beardsley, off goes Rush, and beats Ratcliffe to it. And Rush was looking to be the supplier that time. It allowed Ian Snowden to catch him up. Snowden's so concerned about the potential and the menace of Rush that he could only knock the ball way behind for the corner. Venison didn't get any elevation that Hussein might have been able to meet. Burrows. Oh, and Barnes given time to bring the ball down. A little inquest there in the Everton defending. But Southall not called upon. But Everton wouldn't want to give John Barnes a second touch here. Allowed to get the shot away before Ratcliffe moved in. Everything being done at such pace. It's amazing that the passes find their targets at all. But look at that. Snowden to McDonald. And back to Nevin. Making John Barnes do some chasing. McDonald hits it, places it really. As they say in football, he's got very good feet. Neil McDonald, a shorthand description for a natural striker of a football, and that was a very demanding save for Grobola. Keogh, and uh, Everton invigorated now. Field for the one ball 
And might tilt it back Liverpool's way. They still lead 2-1, of course. And Barnes bears down on Everton. Rush! Nickel! They tumble forward on the cock for an even better view. But Ian Rush couldn't drop the guillotine on Everton that time. an early ball Watson Hansen couldn't afford to miss that one oh dear and Barnes that's how Liverpool have been unnerved all because of a lapse right on half time surely Everton wouldn't have been able to put on this sort of show in the second half if they've been two down at the interval Dave Watson played his part in making it 2-1. He's right in there again. And Grobola makes the sort of catch that really he educated other goalkeepers how to do. When the near post corner became prevalent in Grobola's early years with Liverpool, he was the first to go through the crowd outside that near post and grab the ball and not worry about the risks of dropping it. September, but it's four months since he was last on target in the first division. It would be an appropriate time to uh, put that barren run behind him. Fourteen minutes left for Newell to try and make his mark after Everton have made their tactical switch. Whiteside, McCall, players all battle to the very last. McCall fell this ball for Everton here, and Newell! <laughs> Liverpool's lead looking fragile again. Since Martin Keown's got into the Everton side, he's made some very useful contributions, looking on corners. McCall heads it back. And uh, Watson attracted to the ball, which ended up with Barnes. Ratcliffe. That's Taylor made pretty soon to deal with. Beersley. McMahon pumping his legs forward, but Beersley chose that time to hang on to the ball and for his trouble, he was bumped in the back by Whiteside. Beardsley, Barnes to the left, and Beardsley in a position where he quite fancied one of those little bursts that can be so deadly, and he goes directly for goal on his own.
the supporters don't slacken on days like this and they don't expect the players to do that either they haven't let them down Stray one to Newell. Right side. McDonald. Liverpool still keeping Beardsley and Rush upfield. Right side. Man in the way. Of Rush. Almost apparent there because there was a real break on. If McMahon could have collected the ball as it was played back to him. Just got a little tight in the end for Liverpool. McCall, sharp. McCall and Shitty trying to round off a rat a tat tat of passes for Everton. Very nearly unhinged their neighbours then. McCall, Sharp, McCall again. And then, to the relief of Liverpool, it was Grobola. Well, it uh, was Watson again that the ball struck. Everton will feel that was the case in the first half when he was penalised for deliberate handball in the penalty episode. But there wasn't much clamour then. Considerable in the second half. Venice working it with Nickel again. Oh, Rush! Is it not going to be today for him? He won't mind as long as Liverpool ultimately win. But Southall suddenly became as wide as a barn door then when it seemed certain that. Rush must beat him yet again. It's stoppage time. And Everton have given a great account of themselves in the second half. But Grobola waves the ball goodbye as McDonald tried to plant it onto an Everton head. side derby here that has shown that the game has psychological factors as well as factors of physique and of footballing talent because Everton were down and out after Peter Beardsley's penalty went in to make it 2-0 John Barnes had got the first also it seemed and then Graham Sharp right on half time turned it round to such an extent that Everton stormed out for the second half and although the goals came in the first period, the match evolved in the second, and what a match it was. But it's ended with Neville Southall a loser, and a double in the league this season for Liverpool over Everton.